Okay. The MSC Napoli is this massive 62,000 ton container vessel going from Belgium to Portugal in January 2007, loaded down with 2,300 containers. On her way, she encounters pretty heavy duty weather in the channel. As she's trying to make her way through these nine meter seas, Captain Velev and the crew realized it's taken on water, but it's not just taken on a little water. There's a massive crack in the side of the ship and they're in deep trouble. Velev, the captain, and the 26 crew members have got to abandon ship, get into their life raft, and um, pray for rescue, basically. For Forbes, Duthie, and Captain Velev, and the crew members on the MSC Napoli, they go from being on pretty state-of-the-art, beautiful container vessel to being crammed into this life raft. Everybody's sick. It's crazy hot because they're all in their immersion suits in this tin can getting thrown around, rolled over and over basically, and bouncing from side to side for hours on end. Puking, overheating, nearly passing out, and they're sending out the distress signal. They're on the radio. It was basically like hell being in that thing. For me, one of the heroes in the MSC Napoli episode has got to be the rescue diver, uh, Jay O'Donnell. When the distress call went out, Jay's at the station. He's done his training for the day. He thinks he's going home, but the pilot grabs him and says, there's a ship in distress, let's go. And without hesitation, Jay grabs his bag and he's in the chopper, he's ready to rock. He's facing this massive task on this moving object, rolling around like crazy in these nine meter seas. And when Jay goes in and goes for it, he finds himself like swimming in midair because the seas are so big and he's on the end of a line from the chopper. Eventually, he sort of muscles his way to the life raft, opens the door, takes charge, and uh, he goes into action. There's always things that don't make the final cut, and one of the things that didn't make the final cut with uh, the MSC Napoli was part of the rescue story from Jay O'Donnell. At one point during the rescue, one of the cables from the chopper starts getting caught up in the infrastructure on the top of the life raft, and it's starting to loop around like a cowboy riding a horse. Jay catapults himself from the doorway of the life raft up onto the top and is hanging on, getting ragdolled in these nine meter swells, and then manhandles this cable without falling off, unhooks it from getting tangled in the top of the life raft, and he kind of shakes it off. Woo, I made it goes back in action, saves the rest of the guys. It's like unbelievable, but we can only tell so much of the story of the rescue, so that didn't make it. With the story of the MSC Napoli, Robin Middleton was the guy who was facing this monumental task of a decision where there's no right answer. There's a 62,000 ton ship that's got all this heavy oil and fuel and stuff on it. It's got a massive crack in the side of it. It's listing like crazy. It's in the busiest shipping lanes in Europe. It's filled with 2,300 sea cans that could become these little mine bombs for any other ship if it goes over where it is. He's got to somehow get it out of there and figure out what went wrong. Where am I going to put this thing and not cause further damage? or other disasters to happen. So the pressure on him was intense, and the best solution was to take it to this protected UNESCO heritage site area and deal with the flak. But that was the place to put it. These container ships, there's thousands of them plying the oceans, and the way the Napoli broke apart and how it broke apart, when they looked deeper, figured out that it was a design flaw. It launched them to instigate this massive investigation and inquiry into 1,500 ships and to analyze them all and figure out if any of them had the same design flaw. There was 12 other ships out of the 1,500 that had the same design flaw. They immediately pulled them out of service and that situation got rectified, which definitely saved lives. There's always stories that stick out that are just amaze you. 
And with the MSC Napoli, there's a bunch. I was just flabbergasted when I learned about how there was this shipwreck galore sort of attitude that happened on the beach uh, when the Napoli had grounded and these sea cans were coming ashore. People from like hundreds of kilometers away were flocking to the beach to basically steal whatever they could. BMW motorcycles and pallets full of diapers and casks of whiskey. And it was like Christmas times 10 on the beach of Lime Bay, this environmentally protected area, which kind of blew my mind.